We are live, sort of. We're recording, but you're going to be seeing this very shortly today here on 88 Lionsgate Portal. For those of you who are into Lionsgate Portal and the astrology of all that, I am Lainey Savante Walken here, host of Nurse Your Soul Show, founder of the Center for Intuitive Food Therapy. And we have so much to share here with our fabulous. I'm going to call her the resident Jamie Fay astrologer because she is not only amazing astrologer, but she's a healer. She has taken our courses, graduated with flying colors uh, in our certification courses for intuitive food therapy levels one and two. And we are coming together. We've known each other a a bit here now. And we've been looking for ways to work together and it feels like the stars have finally aligned, right? So welcome to the show. (laughs) And I'm glad you're safe and sound from last night's storm. And today was just perfect to wake up. Didn't even occur to me when we postponed that we would do it today. It's very feels very auspicious. Yes. And yeah, we're coming together to talk about all of our worlds combining. So we're talking astrology, nature's five elements, chakra, food, uh, everything manifesting for your betterment and for your wellness. And of course, if you have been following us here at SIFT, C-I-F-T, we have a wonderful five-week immersion coming up. So we'll be touching on that because some of you are like, what is manifesting manifest mastery all about? So why don't we just start with a little bit about who Jamie Faye is, a little bit about your background and your your entry into our world here, which is now expanding greatly globally. So yeah. go for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic. First of all, thank you so much. It is an honor to be connected with you, to be connected with this fantastic mm-hmm. organization and this show. I just, I feel so honored and grateful to be able to connect with you and to share this information with you and everybody out there. So I'm really looking forward to doing this. Um, Just a quick little background about me. I got into astrology and energy work about 15 years ago or so. Um, Ended up going through, for anybody that knows astrology at all, I went through my very first Saturn return right around 28 to 30 years old, which is a very, very significant point in time in our life from an astrological point of view. And my world turned upside down. Um, And many times when that happens to people, they are looking for answers to give them some type of assurance, hope peace, um, that everything's going to be okay, right? Uh, Because we struggle to come to terms with major transformational times in our life. And that's essentially how I feel astrology found me. And I say that to many, many people that you don't find astrology, astrology finds you. Mm. And it's like once you end up sort of dipping your toe in it just a little bit before you know it, it can, it just catches on. And it's like almost remembering or re-remembering what your soul really already knows. Mm. And that's the what you signed up for in this lifetime already. Yes, absolutely. And, yeah. and it works so beautifully. And so for me, it really became a turning point in my life and it helped me to open up to the fact that there is higher power, divine wisdom, divine forces at work that work for us every day to help guide us and support us and help us to learn certain lessons in life that we are truly guided and supported. And in tandem with that, I happen to find energy work at the same time. And so I ended up combining both of those together to really fuel my mission to really inspire people, to educate people, to help people see their, their highest potential, to really deep dive into really what they're made of and how they can really live this life of optimum health, wellness, happiness, joy, based on these certain things. And so I have made it my mission to share this information with people. And I have found that it has really turned people's lives around. I came from a background, to be honest with you, of the sciences. Uh, same, I graduated, same. <laughs> yeah, I graduated with a degree in biology um, and was going to go down the road in medicine. But essentially, 
I uh, am a fitness junkie. I'm an ex-collegiate athlete, and I went into personal training and fitness and nutrition. Those are very, very important in my life. And that is what happened to lead me into looking into the high vibrational aspects of food yes. and how high vibrational food and eating and nourishing our temple is so imperative to working with optimizing our EMPS, as you call it, yes. your emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual health. And so that is how Lainey and I got connected. I loved her deck. I loved everything about the concept. I, deci I decided to get certified in both level one and level two. And now I use these intuitive readings to help people as well. So that is a little bit of background about me and how I can help all of you. Yeah. <laughs> that was a perfect, succinct, well put together, articulate, like, woo, perfect. I was thinking as you kept talking about your highest potential and immediately I went nutmeg, which is our potential high uh, potential card. And I was thinking, I was thinking about, you know, like I was, oh, you just put a little nutmeg onto like, say your hot cocoa, or, yeah. you know, you can put it onto a dessert. Like it just takes the potential of it so much higher by just adding a little. So I started going there on the food thought. That was Absolutely. A just a little sprinkle of this. That's it. Uh, and it's really mindset too. It's like where you put your mindset and seeing the potential and being open-minded to having all possibilities have potential and how you view it instead of looking at something as, oh, I can't do that. You know, is there a possibility? I mean, that's what potential is all about. And I think that we here now teach and how we integrate all our mo different modalities, you and me and all of us here in this community, we look at food as having the potential for really showing you greater wisdom and talking to you over all this time about that there's actually food protocols in a way that align with our planets that align with the elements and seeing this bigger picture yes. is it, like a story that needed to be told. And when we talked about doing originally, it was going to be a five month immersion and I'm all about it because I've done the five weeks years ago, every class filled up. It was great. And it was just elements. And I was like, nah, let's take them for five months where we really spend each month in an element, but that is pretty daunting for people's schedules and my, including my own. And so I thought, okay, let's go back to the basics. Let's get them interested in seeing how the universe conspires to bring you all your wisdom. And so when you, and I mentioned to you which five weeks and you said, well, if you just back it up, there could be some wonderful planetary synergies. And um, that's really kind of bringing you all current as to why we are doing this wonderful five-week immersion starting on today's 8-8. Eight, eight. It's starting mm -hmm. on 8 and it's going through September 9th. And it's five weeks specifically or energetically chosen. But maybe let's just talk about um, food and astrology and the fact that people are going, what does that even mean? Um, I know I talk to the nth degree about chakras and elements and we'll get to all that and that's all in there plus we have denise flood with her essential oils bringing in kind of like the glue to it all but maybe let's just share now jamie a little bit about how you are seeing astrology and food come into red kidney beans alignment <laughs> absolutely absolutely so Essentially, uh, to give you an example of how I like to combine food and astrology is I like to take a look at the cosmic weather and what's currently going on over the course of our day, over the course of our week, the seasons that we're in. For instance, we are actually in a season of the fire element. So we are in Leo season right now. For those of you, if I have any Leos out there, happy birthday to the Leos. And what's interesting about this is I will take a look at the week and I will see what type of cosmic weather patterns are going on for the week and then see how, what type of elements are coming up and and really ask spirit using the foods, using the deck, what type of foods might nourish the energies that are currently going on? Because each one, as you well know, and you can explain very well, that each one 
of the foods are associated with certain chakras and, you know, certain uh, pHs, that sort of thing. And yeah. it, can, it can really, really help to help the body acclimate to the energies as well that's currently going on. So let me give you an example. So first of all, can, can I just jump in for yeah. one second? Cause I sure. don't want to forget, you know, here we are in Florida sweltering and I know there's heat waves across the country, but I'm just thinking like you just mentioned Leo and you mentioned fire and you mentioned, and I'm yeah. thinking, yeah, we're in the heat, like full on heat sun right now. And so I just was like, oh my God, you're right. We got to go to cooling foods. I didn't even think of that. But anyways, go ahead. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Using cooling for foods during this fire element season is so beneficial towards the body. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. To help cool things off from the energetic standpoint. So what's interesting about this particular week, and I'm going to focus on this week. Uh, yes, today is 8-8, eight, eight, a manifestation day uh, for people, if you're familiar with 8-8. Eight, eight, and so uh, this is, we're coming on to talk about manifestation with the elements on a manifestation day of eight. We're eight. apricotting so, today. We're, we're having apricotting today. Apricot yes, day. we yes. absolutely are. But to talk about in general, over all the week. So first of all, let's talk, I'm very, very much into moon cycles and um, feeling that the moon is so incredibly important for people because we as humans we are made of over 70% water. Our physical bodies are made up over 70% water. We know by scientific fact that our moon controls the ocean's tides. So if we know that the moon controls the ocean's tides, it only makes sense that the moon and the cycles of the moon are going to control our body as well, or at least influence it. Control is a bit of a heavy word. I would say influence it a little bit. That's a great so, word. Yeah, so you might know notice on a full moon that you might be retaining a little bit more water than normal, you know, things like that. So this week is really interesting. Currently, we have the moon in sensual Taurus, which loves food. It loves really indulging itself with the senses. But going into tomorrow, the moon's actually going to move really move into the sign of Gemini. This is um, this is really more of an air element. So we've got a lot of air element energy going on this week. Uh, Moon and Gemini can be very fidgety, very restless. They can be very curious. They love to know about things, but they also really love to share their emotions because the moon rules emotions, okay? The emotions of people. And so this is a week, especially as the moon moves into Gemini, that it's going to be a time of really needing to share our thoughts and emotions with others, whether it's our loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, that sort of thing. But at the same time, we have a really, really important alignment. We have Venus coming into an aspect with Uranus. Now, Venus is actually currently retrograde. Venus rules over our love nature. It rules over money and finances. And I really, uh, I, I tagged this from another astrologer from years ago, Venus rules over our money and our honey. And when Venus goes retrograde, this is a reassessing of certain things, reassessing of relationships, reassessing of finances, reassessing of what we value in life and are we on the right track or do we need to kind of like take a bit of a, you know, turn and, and redirect some things, redirect the energy to make more into alignment of what we feel we need to do and where we need to go. Now, when Venus lines up with Uranus, Uranus is an outer planet and it really stands for sudden change, enlightenment, windfalls. Venus Uranus is actually a love at first sight type of aspect. So when Venus goes retrograde and meets up with Uranus, this energy does not happen very often. It's a mental energy, but it's very stimulating. So for when people, is this happening? This is happening tomorrow, but it's Yay! actually occurring today. The aspect is starting to apply today. It'll go tomorrow and then it'll go even a day or so after that. This is a really, really important week for relationships. Very important. If you're single, get out there because this is a very, very faded time, especially when Venus is retrograde. Get out there, make yourself known. You might notice some past relationships coming back where the air needs to be cleared a little bit. But if you are in a relationship, there is also an aspect going on this week where Mercury, how we communicate 
and Mars, which is how we go about the way we communicate, are kind of walking right in line together in the sign of Virgo. And in the sign of Virgo, Mercury and Mars together can be very detail oriented, very specific, like need to get down to the cut and dry nitty gritty of what's going on, but can kind of be a little bit critical at the same time, can kind of have a sharp tongue. So it could be at this point in time that this week is going to be a really, really important week for sharing your heart, sharing your mind. Venus and Leo is about is about loving and coming from our own individual unique heart. What, what lights us up? Where is our passion? What and who makes us feel passionate? And so there could be windfalls of changes in relationships, starting new ones, maybe ending old ones, if for whatever reason you aren't feeling lit up anymore. But this is a really critical week to, if you've been holding up and bottling up any type of emotions at all in regards to your relationships, but even creative projects, if you've been holding off on any type of creative project, this is the week where you can really, really like restart that and get things moving again. So when I tapped into the energy of this week with the foods and what type of foods can support us, this is really interesting because I had two cards come up. As I mentioned- So you know, I have one sitting here. I wonder if really? it's going to be the same. <laughs> this is going to be interesting to see what happens. So as I mentioned, we are in- from a solar season, the element of fire being with the sun in Leo. But this week in particular, the element is, the energy is more feeling air. So the first card that I ended up pulling up when I tapped into the energy was tomatoes, action. Awesome. Now this is really interesting because this is associated, as you well know, with the root chakra. This is fire element. This is the, the energy is asking us that there could be a situation that is either going to come back into our lives or is going to present itself that we are going to need to take action on, especially if we've been like shoving things under the rug or pushing it aside. And I asked for some clarity in regards to this, especially tuning into the listeners and finding out, well, what are they going to need to take action on? And I ended up pulling a second card and I got ginger feelings. So this is really interesting. This is a fire card too, as yeah. well. Yeah. This is a fire card too. But what's interesting about this is, as you all know, Lainey, this is a throat chakra card. So I feel very strongly that it's very possible over the course of this week that there's going to be situations that come up in your relationship dynamics, whether that be romantic, personal, professional, where you are going to need to really speak your truth and be brave and share feelings that may have not been able to be shared before. This is a very, very strong karmic week, actually, with Venus retrograde meeting Uranus. So there's going to be some karmic presentations come up that is going to ask us to be brave, clear that throat chakra, share our feelings, share our thoughts without at the same time being too critical and having too biting of a tongue, right? So we want to make sure that we're speaking from a place of the heart, Leo. We're speaking from a place of warmth and compassion, but we're also speaking our truth at the same time to keep that throat chakra clear and open. So this is really important this week as the moon goes into Gemini, because when the moon goes into Gemini, we get antsy, we get fidgety. We know something might need to change. So this is a really, really important time to be able to use these foods like tomatoes and ginger to be able to help support our body to give us the bravery that we need to speak our truth if we need to do so. But also, if a situation comes up that gets presented to us where we're on the defensive, where we're forced to be on the defensive, it gives us the bravery to defend ourselves and say what we need to do and, and not back down and shy away either, right? Because that can block the throat chakra as well. So it's a really, really important week for that. And again, this may not even be relationship oriented. It might be a situation where something comes up in regards to your 
finances or your career where you have something come out of left field that you never expected in a million years was going to happen. And it just it just lays itself on the table. And you're like, what in the world? Where did this come from? And then all of a sudden you're faced with the decision of I need to take action on this. I can't hold off on it. I can't procrastinate. Spirit's asking me to take action, but I need to make sure that I'm clear in my heart with my feelings as to if this decision is the best road for me to go. So that's Perfect. how these foods can really, really work with the astrology. I have a third I have a third food to put into the mix. Yay. Let's this, see it. I only pulled it now because I realized. Oh my God, just, and it was actually just everything we talked about uh, uh, thus far. But I pulled this card because A, I just had it for breakfast. We, both my daughter and I had been craving it all week. Now we, you know, when you practice intuitive food therapy, you always have to dig deeper. There's always soul speaking to you. There's soul speak, getting that nudge when you're in that grocery store and you lock on to something, there's a reason. It's not just, oh, I like the color or I haven't had that in a while. There's always soul's intention. So when we get more into two to food therapy, but now kind of like everything makes sense, getting all of your wisdom included in it. So we talked about this being Leo. We talked about this being fire. We talked about things needing to shift. We talked about the air element. Okay. Mm -hmm. We talked about a lot of things that people are now having to think about and take action. So that also is air, that's brain and also using your throat. So being able to speak clearly as such, can anybody guess what I'm going to pull? Anybody? Here we go. I can't wait. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, blueberries, clarity, of course. Like, so, so really think about it. Cooling foods, blues, right? Watery foods, you know, to calm things down if there's a lot of extra fire. Speaking clearly, thinking clearly. This is an air element food. And I woke up today and I was like, I need oatmeal with blueberries. Yesterday we bought frozen blueberries. We bought fresh blueberries. We just, like, blueberries has been on our mind. I was like, everything you just said is this. Don't you think? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. This week is about getting clear on what really lights you up. It, you know, the, the Leo season is what we're passionate about. Does your relationship light you up? Does your job light you up? Are get clear, you take action. <laughs> Find, get really clear, clarity, blueberries on what you want so that you can make and take the appropriate tomatoes moving forward to align yourself and your soul with your true soul's blueprint. And there's going to be very faded events that potentially come in this week that are going to come out of the blue that are going to force you to make that decision. Because that's what the universe will do when it comes to faded types of astrology and events. It's something out of your control, but it's going to come in. It'll hit you out of left field. And what does it do? It makes you really think and reassess because that's what retrogrades do with Venus being retrograde right now. Mercury's in shadow, getting ready to go retrograde here. Actually, on the day that we go into Virgo season and the Earth element. So it's going to be reassessing and reshuffling of things. And Blueberry is perfect because Spirit wants us to get really clear right now. We're a good deal here, Jamie. I love it. I love it. All right. If you love what you are hearing and it's all starting to kind of connect the dots, you must join us because you will have five weeks of this. We will be talking about the planets. Uh, we will be talking about earth elements, air, fire, water, spirit. We will be talking about essential oils. We will be doing tapping with Denise Flood. We will kind of see uh, and people can bring their birth charts, right? And so Absolutely. we can really get into it. But not only that, we'll be meeting every week for five weeks on uh, for 90 minutes on Zoom. But then we'll have a private Facebook group where you'll be able to share um, your thoughts. Uh, Jamie and I and Denise will be giving you prompts and inspirations and just holding you in this really sacred galactic cocoon 
for five weeks and we're going to be covering pretty much everything crystals oils tappings element chakras what else jamie what am i missing i think yeah, I got it. absolutely we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the astrological signs and the planets associated with them you know mm -hmm. and the elemental balance in like the birth chart and what what people have going on as far as their particular elemental balance and how that can help them manifest so we divinely aligned this essentially and i i find it fascinating that we're releasing this on 8 8 which is a manifestation day but essentially we have aligned this that we are starting the day before both the sun and mercury get ready to go into while well, mercury is in virgo already but the sun getting ready to go into virgo which is the earth element and that is what we are starting with is yeah. the earth element and earth element is about they are the manifestors so people that are earth element signs you're natural manifestors anyway so so using this information to really sort of level you up using all the tools in the toolbox. And that's what's so great about this upcoming five-week class is you're not just learning astrology, but you're learning so many different tools and techniques yeah. from old, this huge, big tool. How I live. You can use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I live, uh, I live it, I speak it, I teach it, you know, I follow it, I model it, and I invite all of you so I can share it. Jamie can share her gifts. Denise can share hers and we can all learn from one another. So a couple things to know. One is um, you can sign up at SIFT official, C-I-F-T official.com or center for intuitive food therapy.com. Uh, and there's some spots left. We welcome you. It'll be zoom, um, you know, online comfort from your home. Secondly, for those who are watching this, and have watched it all the way through. Uh, we have a couple special offers. I'll give you mine first, and then Jamie can share hers as well. If you sign up for this course, and if you had already signed up, we know who you are, um, I'm going to be kicking in a beautiful little crystal because we will be obviously sharing how to build altars in creative sacred spaces that align each week. So each week we're going to give you tips on what to manifest, what to bring in, who the gods, the goddesses, what elements, um, you know, items there are that represent those elements. So I'm very passionate about that. If you haven't gone to our Facebook group called Altar Shrines and Sacred Spaces, that's based uh, on a future book that's being written about this, we will be going heavily. So I'm going to be gifting each person a little crystal. So I will be mailing it to you and you can have that as part of your altar building for the five weeks. And that's not all. Jamie, what else are we sharing? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And during this class, we're also going to be sharing with you what particular crystals for each element can help you manifest as well. So you're going to get some education about particular uh, crystals that are basically coordinated with each element that you can use to help manifest as well. So it's if you're into crystals, I know a lot of people are. I use them personally myself for energy work too. They are great, great tools out of the toolbox. So you'll get that information as well. And if you do decide after watching this show and sign up, decide to sign up for this class, I am offering personally a 20% discount if you choose to do a deep dive personal astrology reading with me where I dive into your elemental balance, your planets, and seeing where your personal manifestation lies. If you do it, don't do know it. a tremendous amount of astrology and you want to be able to get that personalized uh, guidance strictly to you, I'm offering a 20% discount on that if you sign up for the class. So. Beautiful. I can't believe it. We said 30 and we're at 2906. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, uh, bearing with us with the planetary weather uh, shifts, but this was perfect. We Divine so look thing. forward to, we so look forward to having you in our class, our immersion. Uh, again, go to uh, siftofficial.com and uh, please reach out to us if you have. And what's your website? People want to learn more about you. Absolutely. Yes. If you want to learn more about me, you can find me on my website at www.jamiefay.com. That's J-A-M-I-E-F-A-Y.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, my Facebook and Instagram is at Reiki.jamiefay. So you can find me there too. And uh, definitely feel free to, you can message either one of us to get more details. If you have specific questions, specific concerns, 
um, we're obviously open for that and we can help guide you as well in that direction. So perfect. All right. If you are in the Florida area, I will be presenting intuitive food therapy at the Illuminate Festival this Sunday, the 13th in Clearwater Beach, Florida. Uh, just go to illuminatefestivals.com or you can look at the information we have it posted on a food healing deck uh, Facebook page or the SIFT Facebook page. Um, do you have any events this week, Jamie? I do. Uh, <laughs> for those that are in the South Central Pennsylvania area, Baltimore area, that sort of thing, I am going to be a... Uh, I'm going to be participating in a featured speaker at the New Visions Holistic Expo, which is up at uh, up in York, PA, near the York Fairgrounds. And that is going to be this weekend. It's a two-day holistic festival on the, uh, I believe it's, what is that, the 12th and the 13th. And so I'm going to be uh, doing mini astrology readings there. I'm going to be doing mini energy work sessions there. And then I'm actually also going to be, uh, I'm one of their speech featured speakers where I'm going to be talking about how astrology can optimize your health and wellness. So if you're local to South Central PA, Northern Maryland, come on out and you can find me there. We are busy. All right, everyone. Many blessings. Thank you so much for being here. We look forward to seeing you wherever we see you. Uh, we will have a show, a future show coming up soon with Denise Flood. She can also talk about her beautiful, beautiful contribution to this five-week immersion. Talk to you soon. Many blessings, Jamie. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was an honor. Same. Bye-bye.